in the quaint town of Stardew Valley. A tale of love and danger beckons. What if Leah was crazy in love with you? Don your metaphorical detective hats and let's find out. I heard there was a new crazy girl in town. And you know what that means. I'm gonna say hi. Provoking her to become insanely obsessed with You know, sometimes I feel like the crazy one waiting outside people's homes. <gasps> Hello, it's nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. I mean, I'm here to talk to you about crime. I'm happy you moved here. You look lovely. Oh my god. Oh no. I did not go to frickin' criminology and doctor scary people school for this. I'm a disgrace. Ma'am, you can't get out of this with a few pretty words. Okay, you can. This city. This job never gets easier. It was a rainy day, just like this one. When I lost my partner, Jonesy. Now what would bring a girl like you to a place like this? By these water corn dogs. Hey, Elliot, what are you doing? What, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? What, what are you doing? <laughs> Is this guy bothering you? Would you care to have a drink with me, Fish? I could take you home afterwards. Oh my goodness. Hear that, Elliot? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? I love to decorate for the different seasons. Decorate with blood? Shane, this is just a regular girl, right? You notice any suspicious activity? I'll write it down on my detective notepad. What do you think about that? Alright, that's fair, you know? We all have secrets. If you hear any banging from inside my hut, it's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly I'm a sculpture. <laughs> I'm sorry. The trees look nice today, don't they? So why did you become a farmer? Ooh. Let's see. I wanted to escape my old life and my old lover that, you know, killed people for me. That's pretty much the reason I came here too. Except I was the one doing the killing. These streets ain't what they used to be. <laughs> we both live outside of town. Does that mean something? Yup. It means we both live outside of town. And perhaps we both operate outside the law. What do you think about that? Avoiding the question. This morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. Who will tell the bug's family? Because it will not be me. <laughs> Hello, Gus. I bet you hear all kinds of things. Idle gossip? Or confessions. Anyway, I need a salad. You can tell a lot about a person based on how they react when you give them a salad. Only a psychopath responds positively. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Case closed. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. Like corpses. <gasps> I'm just working on this sculpture here. Come here, watch this. This is a reflection into your dark and twisted mind. See that? I'm revealing the essence of the wood. You can reveal the essence of my wood any day. <laughs> Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. May I have a kiss? I want to be creepy so bad. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Oh, you're... Me too. That's good to know. Kel, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore.
Would you like me to kill that guy for you? <laughs> she was always nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine. Something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life, you know? A house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of thing. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Fish. I had to leave. So I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. You saw me in a window and you've been stalking me ever since. Well, thanks for listening to me. It's good to have a friend. Oh god, I got friend zoned. Oh my god, shoot me. Shoot me in the head. I mean, thank you for confiding me in, in, in his friend. Abigail needs to go and join the paranormal world she's so interested in already. She needs to realize those silly rituals won't work. You'd never be hers over being mine. Wait. Abigail's in the me? Oh my- Hello, Leah. Mmm, this fruit punch is unusually good. Is it because there's blood in it? Bam! Drop that glass! If you were to leave me, I fear the birds and worms would come for me. But maybe in my next life, you would only belong to me. Um... I'm gonna be real with you. I wasn't prepared for horrors beyond my comprehension. But, you know? I guess Shane is here now, so now I am, but... I gifted Maru a cherry tree sapling. Hopefully she'll accidentally swallow a leaf. Then she'd be out of the way. Okay. There's, there, there's a bit to unpack here. You gave her a tree sapling <laughs> in hopes that she would... My sister in Christ, could you please just kill her like a normal person? Alright, I'm gonna need to go confiscate that sapling. Thank you, ma'am, for keeping our community safe. I left a bouquet of Atropa Belladonna's on Emily's doorstep last night. I hope she wakes up to the hint. What does that mean? Hold on. Hold on. Atropa Bellad. You could have just said Deadly Nightshade. You look over at Leah's easel, and it's a painting of Haley. But it seems she's imagined her as dead in this piece. Wow. Everybody's so creative. It's time to investigate the flower dance. From the inside. As in, I'm going to dance in it. You know, I wouldn't mind dancing with you. I've been imagining you in my arms for today. It'd be nice to have it happen. Okay, you basically just asked me, but... Hehe, <laughs> in your face, Elliot. I still remember the atrocities you put me through. It should be a crime to look this good, am I right? Oh, fish. You scared me. See that fruit up there? It looks delicious, doesn't it? But I can't reach it. Just like your goals in life. I mean, get on my shoulders! <laughs> You're stronger than you look. You gotta be strong to keep these streets clean. Here, try a piece. Even if my art career is a flop, I'll always have a friend to catch me on the way down. Like, financially? Cause... I'm just kidding, Leah. I'll take care of you. Assuming you don't take care of me first. Don't you get a little lonely on that big farm of yours? I'd never mind you stopping by for a chat. Or maybe something more. What are we talking about? In front of the child! I wonder how well Elliot can swim. Do you think he could safely swim from out of the waves? I don't know, but let's find out! I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to be the voice of reason. No, Leah! I mean, yes, yes, he can swim, Leah. Though I can drag my brush along the canvas and blend together the paints, nothing compares to your real face. Oh, You're painting me! You know, you could always work with me as a police sketch artist. And now there is a power couple. I hate to be blunt, but if these other girls don't pack off, their lives are going to end rather short. That was very blunt, so I'm not fully convinced that you do hate being blunt. So are you talking about Marnie? Are you worried about Marnie? 
Because maybe you should be. Marnie, you come back here. Have you been busy this year? <laughs> I thought so. Oh, she gave me money. It explains why you haven't been talking to me enough. Ooh. Really? Right in front of Elliot? We're, we're gonna do this in front of Elliot. Really? We're gonna do this in front of Linus's chicken. Really? <laughs> Nature gives us all. We don't truly own anything. But I believe that you're mine, as I am yours. And I believe... And can save the world. I'll consume you with delight. Why would you say that to me? <laughs> I always think better in the dark. That is Jody, not Leah. Where the freaking heck is Leah? <laughs> Leah! Leah! Where? Where on God's green earth is Leah? Oh, wow. This is creepy. Hello. Time to say goodbye to another summer. It's not all bad, though. Now nobody has an excuse to look at you in revealing clothes. Everyone but me, that is. I literally wear this detective outfit, like, head to toe every single day. Okay? It's, like, part of my identity. Like, my entire personality is I'm a detective. Do you, do, you, do you not understand? Is the bit lost on you, Leah? Like... No, you're right, I do look pretty hot. God. You've made my life so much more colorful. Without you, I'd be living in a monochromatic darkness. Don't ever leave me, fish. I will try my best. But you know, you know, I'm... I don't know, the women, they're all over me. It's a tough life. Being so, you know... So brave and heroic and intelligent. Having such high IQ. You know, sometimes I en Hey, I'm still talking. Sometimes I envy you. Such a simple mind. If you've noticed the way I stare at you, why haven't you gotten the hint yet? I like you, fish. I have since you've arrived. Oh, you want a bouquet, don't you? I was afraid of this. Well, you know, it's for the case, I suppose. <laughs> if I must. You're kind of bending my arm here. <laughs> Guess we have to be girlfriends. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh, Gemini Christmas. My charm strikes again. Be my wife. You want to get more serious? I feel the same way. I'm kind of nervous, aren't you? Nope, not even a little bit. You want to die, Granny? Talk to my girlfriend again. <laughs> All the guys in this town are like sharks. After your blood and body. They don't care like I do. Why are they after my blood? This is the skin of a killer, Bella. You have a kitchen at your place, don't you? I'd love to cook for you every day. Slip a little something inside the meal so I can take care of you all hours. You said that incredibly loudly. <laughs> Shane, help me. Oh my- This is why crime is running rampant. The citizens don't even care about the safety of their fellow man. I'll break your knee. <laughs> Truth is, nothing in this life is fair. I'm stuck behind these bushes. Frickin' heck, dude. We should run away together. Live out the rest of our days within nature. Just the two of us. Forever alone. Nobody who can find us. <laughs> Whatever happened to, um, hello? How are you? Good morning. That's a very nice hat. You're not gonna stab me, are you? It's a little picnic for us. I think I'd rather get stamped. This is a vegetable medley with my special spice blend. I am so apprehensive. You mutter so loud such wicked things. And this is a fresh salad made from greens that I foraged right here in the forest. 
Can you forage some wellness of mind? Well, 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 what have we here? Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, I'm really scared. Oh, I am really scared. What the heck are you doing here? Pardon my French. I'm a detective, baby. Oh my god. She's fine, but that was pretty violent, Fish. I know. <laughs> Did you like it? Hello, Leah. Don't try to blame what I've had to do on me. It was all to make you mine. What did you do, Leah? Leah. Leah. What did you do? I left a kiss on your glass last night after I'd gotten home from foraging. Did you see it? Did you place your lips in the same place to taste me? Yup, I definitely- uh, Yep, mm-hmm. I did do that. I did not just immediately spray some Clorox. And hope for the best. You know, she's no detective, but I bet she knew it was a lie. Rats! The fake gore and blood is decent, but I could supply with the real thing if everyone keeps trying to hold on to you out of their fear. Leah, dearest, we all know that you just use red paint, okay? Stop trying to be cool. I used to think it was interesting to observe others and their behavior, but there's no need to even look at anyone else anymore. There's not a single person in this world who could captivate my attention as you have. Nobody is as unique as you. <laughs> well, that's true, you know. <laughs> when she likes to investigate. Forager and farmer, I think we work pretty well together. I'm a detective. I won't let anyone come close to try and ruin us. I'll kill anyone I need to. Their lives no longer matter to me. Merry Christmas! Now this might just be a hunch, but I think she might be into me. I've never truly been able to fall in love before. Even with my ex, it all felt so... fake. But then you came along. You've shown me what love is supposed to be like. Complete and utter devotion. The urge to go to the most extreme lengths just for the one I love. Yoba, I'd do absolutely anything for you, fish. I love you. Can you jump in this river real quick? For science? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. Mayor Lewis? You so much as look in her direction again? That's what I thought. That's what I thought, old man. That's what I thought. I'd kill for you, fish. Who else could say that? Like a fisherman that's like really passionate. And he's like, oh man, I'd kill for fish right now. I guess like a seafood enthusiast. Being alone is something I've grown used to. But I can never grow used to the feeling of loneliness. I'm happy you came to this town and drove them away. I'd be nothing without you, Fish. An unsupervised criminal. Ooh, that's beautiful. Is that me? Would you like me to sculpt you, Fish? Just a little something to show off my love for you? Yeah, that's me, right? I'm sure nobody else could do something like that. I don't know, this one's kind of in my likeness. I'd love if you stopped by my cabin today. Maybe as a gift, you'd allow me to paint you well, nude. I promise not to touch, unless you'd like me to. I'm sorry. It's your birthday, though. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. I, I don't know. All right. Pay me like one of your French girls. Let's do it. It might be... What do you think? No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> they always react this way! Yes, kiss my hat. It's the only good part of me anyway. I mean, yay, marriage! Woo! <gasps> Aw, her room is cute. I've never actually married Leah. <laughs> but you know, yeah, as good a time as any. I'm sure I got the whole experience. That was some way to ring in the new year last night. Yo. 
We, we went over all of my old cold cases and solved five of them. Meanwhile, she's turning my exes into cold cases. Thank you so much for watching! Would you cuff this version of Leah? Until next time!